Alrighty guys, welcome back. Finally getting some more inventory in here so I can shoot some videos. I don't think I've gone this long without a video since I started my channel. So I'm sorry, but here today on RV Walkthroughs, we're looking at a 2006 Phoenix Cruiser. It's a 2950 model, just under 30 feet overall. It's on that E450 chassis with the V10 Triton motor, single slide out. But let's uh, check out the exterior here. I just took this in, so it's still kind of a mess. I still got techs in and out of it, clean it up. Still, you know, some customer stuff still in there. But I'm more, I got six units available for sale. We're selling these things so fast, I gotta do this. So you do have an awning up top, as you can see. It is a manual awning. Now, one thing I gotta point out, it does have this little end piece cover that is broken. That is not able to be ordered anymore. So we're gonna rip it off so it looks a little bit better, but something to point out. As you can see, one thing about these Phoenix Cruisers is they kind of have a different body angle. It's, it's hard to tell, especially on video, but they kind of angle in a little bit up top. So they're, they're quite unique. So they have a little bit of a different door. You can kind of tell on the door how the top part of it angles more up. So good and bad, good uniqueness, bad. If you do ever have to replace you know, the door or something, that could be a little bit more expensive. Standard six gallon water heater right here little storage right below that and then to the left an additional small little storage power outlets back of the furnace now it's not full body paint is it is a decal coach honestly the decals really don't look that bad i mean even the darker ones where you'd expect them to be more faded or peeling they look good a little bit of peeling starting right on that gold one if you can see that but overall for a 15 year old coach not bad here's your main compartment here and it looks like you might be able to access some of it from inside under the one of the twin beds. All right, now you do have a ladder extension to get up to the roof if you want. And then below that, you have an area for a little bit more storage. It's not much storage, but it's better than nothing. Really just for, a, it looks like a power cord. All right, down below your hitch, 5,000 pound rating. 500 tongue weight, and you do have a seven bank pin and connector right there. An area for a spare tire, a backup camera up top. I love the rear, little rear window. All right, and then you can see that big slide right there for this thing. And there's your dump station. You're probably wondering why this tube is so cold. So this, this thing pretty much has a garbage disposal for your black tank, so it'll chomp it all up and make it nice and liquidy to come out. Not the coolest thing to think of, but a cool little feature to say the least. And you got a sewer flush, a couple pumps areas. Uh, power cord there, utility shower, water fill, actual power hookup, battery, and then your propane tank is 12.2 gallons. I'm not sure on the rear tires here, the DOT numbers are on the inside sidewall. The front tires are dated 20. I do have to double check on them. Uh, they're not, you know, old or anything. It doesn't look at it at least. I mean, the sidewalls are good. No chips, no cracks, plenty of tread left. So, but I can always double check. Now this thing, I, I know a couple new features this coach has that the previous owners did. One being a brand new AC unit. And the second being a brand new fridge. Now, one thing about the fridge is it is a electric fridge only. It's not gonna be a propane setup. Thanks to your own and micro quiet 4,000 there. And I'll show you that once we jump inside, but I wanna point that out closer to the beginning of this video so you hear it. Now, this is technically considered a B plus because it doesn't have the full on overhead bump. You have more of an entertainment center there. As you can see, we got one step going in and a couple more up and we are in. So right when you walk in, you see your slide, your dinette. Up front, we got your cab. And of course, behind us, we have the bedroom area and we'll get there. Let's start up front. Step going in. What do we got for miles? 39091. Good strong start up there. See your backup camera and decent viewing area. So these classes don't change too much up front on these 450 chassis. Really the only thing you get is an auxiliary start down there. Now this one specifically, it's hard to see, but you do have full-on leveling jacks, hydraulic leveling jacks, which is a big plus. 
Seats actually are in pretty good condition and they got some extra cushion on them too. No rips, no tears. Starting to get a little bit of the stress, you know, lines, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right. Now above us, a little bit of storage to the left of the TV, a little bit of storage to the right. And then, of course, your TV right in front and not a very intrusive overhead bunk or, you know, overhead area. So you're not going to be hitting your head getting in and out of this thing. Now, we do have your gen set right here. Control at least for it. 546 hours on that. Your slide control. And then this, which I think is actually, this is interesting that they still have this. So one of the options for this slide was an actual couch. And a Phoenix Cruiser did a lot of electric couches. So you push that button and it lays flat, turns into a bed. A little bit different here with the dinette setup. This will still also be a sleeper. You just take the legs off this dinette, lay them on those two little pieces there. And then you got yourself a pretty, I would call this a single sleeper. You're not going to really fit two massive people on here or one massive person on here. A little bit of storage under these things. And you can see there's an area for another table, a couple more legs. I wonder if they had, if that's just an extra one for them. All right. Now here is my printout of this coach. Some of the info on it. 2009, oh, I'm sorry, 2006. Phoenix Cruiser, 39,000 miles, just under 30 feet. 35 grand is what we're selling it for. So on the slide, the only storage is right above, right behind those netted areas, and of course below the seats, but not as easy to access as those. Now directly behind me, you have a little barrel chair with an extension of the Corian top in the kitchen, and then just a little bit of storage paperwork up here, and then just a random compartment there. Moving on into the kitchen, and then the bathroom, and then the bedroom. You do have a pop-up leaf there, full-on Corian countertops. Nice big sink, and then you should have a two-burner stovetop right there. Also with Corian covers with storage behind. A little bit of storage above. Now this is a convection microwave because you do not have an oven. So pretty cool with the hood. And then I've never seen that or it has like a table pop up there but then also behind have storage so kind of unique a little bit different the guy who owned this prior definitely uh had a couple unique things he did and then right behind the kitchen we do have that magic chef fridge now like i said this is gonna be electric only so you will have to be plugged in or running the gen set to keep this cold or get an inverter all right, and then pretty much you have your pantry and then the bathroom. It's a little tight, of course. We do have a hallway here, but your pantry will pull out as so. It's actually quite nice for the size of this coach. There's 40-foot RVs that don't have this much pantry storage. Now, once again, getting nice and tight in here. I'm sorry. Some of your wardrobe storage. And then the other side of that wardrobe. So we got a couple drawers down here and then continue moving back. You have your vanity with a little bit of storage there and there, of course, a medicine cabinet. And then as I'm standing in the bedroom right behind that vanity, we have your bathroom, which will also act as kind of a second door. Give you a little bit of separation, raised pedestal toilet. Fantastic fan in here. Plastic toilet also. Now the pan, what is that, a two by three, maybe an 18 by 24. So this is one of the first ones. I'm five nine. You're, you're really gonna be maxed out. If you're above six foot, it's gonna be tight. You will have to crinkle those knees just a little bit. All right, and finally, your actual twin bedroom. So this is pretty cool. So we have two mattresses in here, little things separating them, and then just storage all throughout the upper walls. You saw your first wardrobe over there. There's your second. And you always have these storages above. Like I said, rear window, big plus with your day and night shades. So nothing too crazy. I found this to be quite unique. It almost looks like a bread box. You lift it up and then 
as an area. And I was exploring, I'm like, I guess a TV could probably go there. And you do have a hole up in the top there, which will go to some power outlets right there. So that's exactly what that's for, is a TV in your red box. Kind of cool. And look at this. These are those compartments to the other side of that storage outside. And there's nothing on the passenger. Oh, I'm sorry, on the driver's side. And you know what? Guys, that's that's it. That's all we're all we're, that's all she wrote. Accordion style door here. Psych. And then you got that separated. So you can give yourself a master suite or just a bedroom. So that was our 2006 Phoenix Cruiser. 2950 single slide e450 chassis just under 40,000 miles and we're selling her for 35 grand i hope you enjoyed my video if you have any questions give me a call our phone number is 520-807-0900 or shoot me an email at taylor at padata thank you so much for viewing have a great day